That's beautiful. All right, the new tractor is here. Let's see if we can catch him before uh, he offloads it. What do you say? You're at the right place. All yes, right. sir. I just called to be sure I got the address and everything, so. Yes, sir, you are at the right place. Right. Whoo, that's there's, pretty. There's lots of times I'm not at the right place. Oh, yeah, I hear you. Uh, I hear you. Yeah. I've been lost a time or three. Yeah, that GPS, I don't know what you're doing. No, I know, and it, it usually never gets, gets them all the way to our house. Yeah. It usually stops people up the road. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Phil was right. I think I got different tires. Uh, his are a little more rounded on the NX. These are 13.6 by 24. Hey guys, Capper here. Welcome back. Well, today is the big day. The new NS just arrived. So we're going to do a walk around, go over the features and stuff. And don't forget, if you enjoy this video, please hit the like button. We appreciate that and consider subscribing for all of our tractor projects and other fun projects. But enough of that. Let's check out the new tractor. Oh, and by the way, this video is proudly sponsored by Little Tractor and Equipment. Four locations in Southern Illinois and Western Kentucky and a brand new location in Benton, Illinois. Let's check it out. Straight up there. Man, that was lickety split. In, out, bing, bang, boom. I like it. Of course, everything is super, super wet from a bunch of rain still this morning. All right, starting on the outside. Um, I ordered specific tires, um, which I usually do just because we're in such rocky country. Um, they probably are a little more expensive, um, but I got eight. These are eight ply tires instead of six ply, which is most most of what tractor tires are six ply. As I mentioned in the last video, they had to order the um, the kit because I'm going to get three total of three SCVs back here. That's on back order. All the parts on the NS stuff is on back order. I mean, because it is a brand new line of tractor. Um, I'm going to do a side-by-side -side with the NX, but when we did a side-by-side -side at the dealership, we did notice a few differences. Um, the hubs and the uh, axles were larger on the NS. And of course, this is the new all-hydraulic transmission. Let's see, I see I got a front and a rear wiper. That's good. Between clay, wet or dry and powder, I actually use the wipers quite a bit. I'm going to do some loader work with this over at Project 291. Um, we're also waiting on the third function. Um, I know the videos are a little bit behind on 2.0 channel, but we got gravel on that road going in. We got that whole road buttoned up, but I need to do a little more loader work there. All right, let's check out the inside. Okay. Nice. There's the uh, radio remote. Oh, pretty, pretty colors. Let's see if we can fire this baby up. Oh, look at the keys even. 
Man, they're they're up in the game lately. I gotta be in neutral. Nice. Oh, that's nice and snappy. Come on, just idling. Uh, third function is coming at some point. Your throttle, first rear SCV. I'll have these two slots filled. I also ordered some electronic things. I think link pedal I ordered and something else. So those are on back order. This is your uh, PTO. Manual or auto. What, what auto means is when you lower it, uh, it shuts it off or it turns it on and when you raise it, it shuts it off. Your, uh, this is your diesel exhaust regen. This is a cruise control. Like I said, I, I cannot remember. I'll have to look at the paper, but I know I ordered link pedal and maybe something else. And man, it's getting hot in here. Where's the air conditioning? There we go. Starting to cool off. There's the radio. Nice. Full tank of fuel. Right on the nose, as it should be. It's got 1.4 hours. You got your horn, uh, your headlights, turn signals, and probably your hazards are on here also. There's your headlights. So look how pretty that is. Here's your draft control, and of course your three-point. Gear range selector. I'm not sure what this slot could be for. Um, let's see. We got we got a 12 volt outlet and oh, nice a USB charger. Bonus. I did not know about that. Uh, I added the front and the rear wipers. Uh, like I said, I always use those. Everything else is pretty much standard, so looking forward to taking it for a spin. All right, the air is nice and cool. Uh, let's see, we gotta recirculate. That's where I leave it on, as opposed to fresh air. I wanted to show you something else outside. And the tires are loaded with liquid, the rear ones, not the front ones. On the uh, RX, I loaded all four just for more weight and traction. I'm curious to see if, if this lift spec will go eight feet because we got those two blinds over at the other property. I'd like to use this to, to install them. Let's take a look under the hood. Not much to see in there. Very pretty and clean though. this removable screen. I remember that from my first Coyote video when I compared it to my at the time. Dang, I need two hands for that. Uh, one of, of course, a lot of things I do like about Coyote is uh, both doors have latches and, uh, and handles. Some models don't unless they all have caught up to the game. I'm hoping to get this maybe even tomorrow already at 291, although you see you see how much rain we've got. It's been pretty messy. Another thing that I've always liked on these, which is one of the options that that switched me over to Coyote was this uh, outside three-point. This is really convenient when you're loading or uh, trying to hook up your implements so yeah I tried lowering the uh, outside arm and I'm like the three-point arms won't go down I jumped on them for some weight nothing but the uh, the draft control which I had forgotten was all the way in the up position so once you put that down then your three-point works like it's supposed to that's a whole nother video although I do have a video on on how to use this with a disc 
see if I can dig it up and put it in the uh, in the description. Take it for a quick spin. I will. I'll show you how loud or quiet it is. Yeah, I forgot that it's got a seat safety on there, so it cut the engine when you when you get up off of the seat. So the link pedal, which I don't have, is a feature that links your pedals with your throttle. But for now, let's just see how she sounds. Oh yeah, nice. Nice and quiet. I like the hydraulic pedal feel. This is the, the brand new transmission in the NS. It's uh, all hydraulic. Although, if I start using this, it's going to be uh, kind of a pain to get used to the, sh the uh, shuttle shift again. Let's try out the float mode here quick. This gravel is still pretty soft. We got a spot all ready for it. I think the front and rear work lights were extra too. I'm not 100% on that, but I'll keep you posted as uh, as the options get arrive and they fix everything back up. There's a look at the RX, give you an idea of how much bigger it is. Granted, this one's sitting back just a little farther, but definitely a lot more muscle. Man, I can't wait to get out and start using it. All right. Special thanks to Little Tractor. It's been really a pleasure working with them for, I don't know how many years now, seven or eight maybe, maybe even more. 